Magandang araw mga kababayan, magandang araw Pilipinas! Pinipagong isyo na naman ng ating pag-uusapan at sa bawat isyo ay ipapakita natin ang salube ng kaubayan sa pamamagitan ng kanilang mga komento. Senator Ontiveros at saka si Coco Pimentel, buta tapo, no? Dito kay Inday Sara Duterte. The Office of the Vice President can only propose the use of... Uh, confidential funds based on Joint Circular 2015-01, but we leave it to the decision and discretion of the members of uh, Congress who has the power of the purse to decide whether to grant um, confidential funds. To Yan ang tunay na BP. Hindi tayo nagkamaling iboto si BP Inday Sara. Thank you, Lord. Kundi ba naman lutang ang mga yan ay ang linaw-lino ng presentation nila kung saan ginastos ng OBP ang 2022 budget nila. Dahilan kung bakit pinataya ng Mike yung isang congressman na gusto ang magtanong kasi bistado nila na ang layunin ay umepa lang. Ante Beros, nakadepend lang sa script niya, pati naman si Manuel. Pag sinagot sila, wala silang sasabihin. Next question ulit, ganun lang. Hindi umubra ang mga scripted na tanong ni Risa Ante Beros at ni Coco Pimentel kay BP Inday Sara sa ginawang budget hearing sa Senate dahil ito sa mga ginawang issue na makabayan black. Pero ito nga ay sinagot lahat mismo ni BP Inday Sara Duterte. Kaya ayon sa ating mga kababayan, ayan ang tunay na BP. Kayang sumagot ng walang paligoy-ligoy. Alin po sa mga primary mandates na yon, as uh, you conceive them in support of the primary mandates of the OP, alin sa mga primary mandates na yon ang uh, masusuportahan or specifically gagastosan ng confidential funds na iya-allocate ng Kongreso sa office nyo? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, the constitutional mandate of the Office of the Vice President is only to be a reserve, a bench warmer uh, in the event of, I don't, do not want to mention it, but in the event that the President cannot discharge his functions, that is the constitutional mandate of uh, the Office of the Vice President. Apart from that, all the other projects of the Office of the programs, projects, and activities of uh, the Office of the Vice President will depend largely on the decision and discretion of the incumbent elected uh, Vice President. So um, for my uh, term, we decided on uh, three permanent projects, the charter, the museum, and the permanent office and uh, residence of the Office of the Vice President. And then uh, we, took, we took on... Um, uh, the projects that uh, made uh, the most impact when I was uh, mayor of Davao City, this, these are the entrepreneurship uh, program, the peace building in uh, communities, the Pagbabago advocacy campaign. Uh, we added the um, Pagbabago a million trees uh, for um in support of the mandate of uh, the DNR. And then uh, we have the PANSRAP program in support of uh, the Department of Health and the Department of Education. And then we created the Disaster Operations Center for in support of uh, NDREAM-C and all those local governments who are asking for help from the Office of the Vice President when there are calamities or uh, emergencies in their localities. And uh, we, the buses donated to me, I lent to the Office of the Vice President uh, to support uh, the Libring Sakai program of uh, the national government. In addition to that, I discharge uh, the functions and the duties of the Secretary of uh, the Department of Education. And uh, in addition to that, I was tasked by the vice, by the president, to co-chair the national task force on ending local communist NTFL CAC. And uh, in addition to that, I also took on the role of president of the Southeast Asian uh, Ministers Education Ministers Organization, Simeo. And um, all of these. Uh, activities um, use uh, confidential funds. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Madam Vice President, so nasagot nyo na yung follow-up question ko. Kung ibig nyo pong sabihin, lahat nito, uh, starting with the bench warming 
and being a reserve. And then yung entrepreneurship program, yung peace building, yung pansarap, yung million trees, yung pagbabago advocacy, yung disaster operation center, yung libreng sakay, uh, and yung binanggit nyong three permanent projects, the permanent office, the VP's Museum, and the Omnibus Law or Charter, bawat isa sa mga ito, gagastosan ng confidential funds ng opisina nyo? Uh, yes. Uh, mainly, the confidential funds, as I said, is uh, for the safe, secure, and successful implementations of the programs, projects, and activities, and engagements of the Office of the Vice President. Just to clarify, Madam VP, since confidential funds refer to those agencies related to surveillance activities undertaken by civilian government agencies, uh, ibig po bang sabihin na yung opisina ninyo will be gathering intelligence on certain subjects or entities in support sa inyong mandates o mga operasyon, Mr. Pres uh, Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair, Your Honor, that is correct. Uh, as an example, um, we did uh, surveillance of uh, complaints uh, from constituents uh, in Bulacan with regard to the selling of um, OVP assistance and um, the selling of uh, TUPAD projects in uh, Bulacan. And uh, there was a surveillance operation that was run, run by um, the VPSPG for about, about a month. And um, we were able to apprehend the person and we were able to successfully prosecute uh, the case. And that person uh, went to jail for ilang months? Um, six months. Recently. For six months. Uh, so that is an example of the surveillance activities that is conducted by the VPSPG for uh, the projects and activities of the Office of the Vice President. Uh, it was in Bulacan. Salamat kaayo, Madam VP. I ask this because uh, the National Intelligence Coordinating Agency was established to direct, coordinate, and integrate national intelligence activities. And this includes the collation of intelligence gathered from various sources. So we'd like more information as to the intelligence operations of the OVP. Uh, sa aling mga sources magagather ng impormasyon uh, yung OVP? Uh, kukuha ba kayo ng intelligence mula sa ating mga existing intelligence services tulad ng NICA o tulad ng DND at PNP? Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, no. Um, it just, intelligence starts uh, with the communities and the stakeholders and then if there are complaints, and then it is built up uh, through uh, intelligence and surveillance uh, services. And then uh, a dossier or a report is uh, started. And then um, it goes through levels uh, through the Office of the Vice President and uh, VPSPG. So we do not um, seek uh, intelligence reports from other government agencies, but the intelligence uh, reports start uh, from the ground in the communities that, uh, they're, they're the, that are engaged by the Office of the Vice President. The Office of the Vice President can only propose the use of uh, confidential funds based on Joint Circular 2015-01, but we leave it to the decision and discretion of the members of uh, Congress who has the power of the purse to decide whether to grant um, confidential funds to our office. We can only propose, but we are not insisting. We can live without confidential funds. But of course, our work will be, co will be much easier if we have uh, the flexibility of confidential funds in monitoring the safe, secure, and successful implementations of uh, the programs, projects, and activities of the Office of the Vice President. Ano ang masasabi mo sa isyong ito? Just comment below at ilike mo na rin kung nagustuhan mo ang ating isyong tinalakay. At syempre, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe. Maraming salamat sa panunood. Mahalin po natin ang Pilipinas. Thank <laughs> you.